Hello, Pakistan is mourning the death of at least 93 people killed in a suicide attack at a mosque in a highly fortified security compound in Peshawar. Debris is being cleared as most parts of the mosque have collapsed. Rescue teams have been retrieving bodies from the rubble. It happened when a suicide bomber blew himself up during afternoon prayers. The Tehriki Taliban Pakistan denied its involvement after initially claiming the attack that targeted police officers. Let's across to Kamal Haider. He's joining us from Peshawar. And Kamal, that death toll uh, has continued to rise. Absolutely. And as we speak, the rescue and recovery, what is now looking more like a recovery effort, is still, still underway. Almost uh, a, a whole day since that incident happened. And according to the commissioner, confirming that 93 people, uh, mostly policemen, have been killed. There's been a ceremonial send-off uh, to those policemen who lost their lives at the police lines. Also, funerals taking place uh, across the province because these policemen came from several districts. So, mourning across the province. However, we are now also finding out that there were credible intelligence reports of an attack that uh, came out on the 21st of January, which stated that several fighters of the tariq -e taliban Pakistan, mostly suicide bombers, were planning a big uh, wave of attacks across the uh, city of Peshawar and in the Khyber Pukhtunkhwa province. That alert was issued. However, uh, what you see behind me is the main entrance to the compound when you go inside there are four, five other cordons, check posts, barricades. And the big question is as to how, if despite the fact that there was a threat alert, how the suicide bomber was able to get into such a sensitive area, get into a mosque and then uh, detonate his explosive. So definitely complacency, a total failure of the security here in Peshawar. The police, of course, uh, will have to answer for what happened yesterday on Monday here in the city of Peshawar. Many are still in critical condition, although those with lighter wounds have been uh, released from the hospital. There is a fear that the death toll could rise even further. And all day long and overnight, we've been seeing that those uh, casualty figures are mounting. So, Kamal, where do things stand then right now uh, in the investigation and what are the next steps going forward? Well, in the aftermath of every attack, the details do come out. They've been able to identify the suicide bomber. Uh, they also now know that other suicide bomb bombers are at large waiting for an opportunity. Earlier, there were reports that some of them may try to target the hospital. We have seen that uh, in the past also where uh, the suicide bombers have carried out secondary attacks in hospitals where there is a large congregation. And so the threat alert is quite high, but we don't know uh, what happened with the investigations uh, under ordinary circumstances. The head of the police should have resigned because this is a total failure. But this is also a government that complains that it has no money, although you will feel uh, you will find that they're living an opulent lifestyle, roaming around with expensive SUVs. There is no protection for ordinary people in this country. And although the elite and the security forces may have that security and all the perks, the poor people are the most vulnerable. These policemen, of course, come from poor families. They do not get very large amounts of salaries. And most investigations in this country are inconclusive. So it will be important to see whether they get to the bottom of this, whether heads will roll indeed, although you'll find the politicians coming to the hospitals for photo opportunities to try and find out what happened. And the people, of course, at large are very angry. The social media posts that you see are blaming the government for complacency. And some people are even going as far as to say that the government is now trying to find an excuse to delay the elections because this government uh, in this particular province is an interim government under the Constitution. Those elections should be held within 90 days. So let's see what happens. But obviously, people are not happy. They don't feel secure. And they see this as an utter failure of the administration. Thank you so much, Kamal Haidar, reporting from Peshawar.